America's new first lady, Melania Trump, has stayed largely out of the spotlight since her husband took the oath of office. She has made very few public appearances and has kept a low profile. Her at Flotus Twitter account has only a handful of tweets. That's a stark contrast to the at POTUS feed. And since inauguration, she has rarely returned to the White House. Despite the unusually slow start, Melania Trump has made some notable moves. Here are a few. One, she was the picture of elegance at inauguration in a suit by Ralph Lauren and later at the inaugural ball in a gown by Herve Pierre. Two, she has been slow to hire her highest level White House staff, but on January 26, she chose fellow Manhattanite and former Vogue event planner Stephanie Winston Wolkoff as her senior advisor. She also hired a chief of staff, Lindsay Reynolds, on February 1st, and a communications director, Stephanie Grisham, on March 27th. Three. In early February, Melania Trump made an appearance at the Trump International Hotel in West Palm Beach, where she attended a Red Cross ball on February 4th and an annual Super Bowl viewing party the following day. Four. In February, her attorney filed a lawsuit against Mail Media, owner of the Daily Mail, for falsely reporting that she once worked for an escort service. The suit claims the false report caused her brand to lose significant value. The defamation lawsuit was settled February 7th, and the Maryland blogger responsible for the defamatory statements agreed to apologize and pay her a substantial sum. On February 18th, she introduced her husband at a Florida rally. She recited the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, who art in heaven, and vowed to stay true to herself. I will always stay true to myself and be truthful to you, no matter what the opposition about me. And she read to children at New York Presbyterian Hospital on March 2nd. And she hosted a luncheon on March 8th to mark International Women's Day. 